Hi everyone. Mark from Retribution Gaming here, and today I thought we'd take a look at an oddity I came across whilst watching some random YouTube videos. New Super Mario Land, for the Super Nintendo. This is a remake of the classic Game Boy launch title, but remade for the Super Nintendo using assets from New Super Mario Bros. for the Nintendo DS. So let's see how this works. Well, it starts off like Super Mario Land. Oh, now, the underground graphics are cool. And Mario keeps the wall jump from later games? That's neat. I like that transition too. So far, I am impressed with the presentation. And is that parallax scrolling in the background? I'm always a sucker for a bit of parallax. But that's enough gushing over the graphics. Let's talk gameplay. And let's first address something glaringly obvious. What is wrong with Mario's walking animation? And his speed for that matter? He does seem very stiff and clunky, and not nearly as athletic as we know a short fat Italian plumber can be. Oh that's neat, I like the inclusion of the Fakir feather in the cap from Mario Land 2. And I guess we are launching powerballs instead of fireballs. But that brings me on to another point, Super Mario Land took place in Sarasa Land, not the Mushroom Kingdom. Kinda disappointed we have Goomba and Koopa Troopers instead of Goombo and Noko Bond. But, I guess they weren't in new Super Mario Bros., so finding assets would be tricky. Nice to see the Powerball still collects coins though. Hang on. That's a fighter fly. So new assets were indeed created for this game. So why not Goombo and Noko Bond then? That's also a little disappointing in my opinion. As much as I love this theme from Mario 64, it doesn't beat using the Can Can as the invincibility theme. Whoops. No more Powerballs. Not that it really matters, as we're at the end of the level now anyway. Right, just up these platforms, and we're done. And the bonus level looks just as nice. Okay, let's leave it there. So, what did I think of it? I think it is a well thought out tribute to a great game, and it does feel really familiar to me as a fan of the original Super Mario Land. I love the presentation, the graphics are excellent, and I like how the HUD stays hidden unless you collect coins or an extra life. Keeps the screen less cluttered. However, I think there are some cons that may outweigh these pros. Mario controls kinda sluggishly, and although he can run, still doesn't make up for it. His walking animation is a bit, I dunno, there's something about it that doesn't sit right with me. There's also a niggle with the Powerball in the coin rooms. The Powerball seems to disappear when off screen. So these coin rooms suffer by not being completely visible. But that's a minor issue. However, Goomba and Koopa Troopers in Sarasaland? I may never get over that. That being said, it's definitely worth a go. I might come back to it at a later date and see if I can get used to it a bit more. I may even add it to the end of my Super Mario Land playthrough, when I get round to finishing it. So, thank you all for watching. Let me know what you thought in the comments below, and I hope to catch you again, real soon.